Okay, so Hawkeye episode five is out and like Hawkeye is that series that started off decent and every episode has been getting more and more better than the last. And this is definitely, in my opinion, my favorite episode. I said it about the last episode, episode four, when Yelena showed up. This is definitely my favorite episode. Number one, Yelena and Kate. That is essentially two chaotic people who should not be together. And I really hope that by the end of the Hawkeye series, Yelena and Kate kind of go off to do their own thing. Because number one, Kate definitely needs a teacher to teach her how to essentially fight and not just fire arrows. And Yelena definitely needs somebody who will be able to ground her and show her the finer sides of uh, American culture. Now, moving on from there, we see Jack get arrested. And we kind of figured that Jack was, some Jack was something along the lines of a patsy and that uh, Mama Bishop it may have may not been up to no good. And it is revealed that Mama Bishop is essentially up to no good. Um, I'm gonna reveal, we're gonna talk about who exactly she's working with a little bit more towards the end of this. But Hawkeye more or less suiting back up as Ronan. Now, I find it interesting that when Clint called his wife, once again, I'm like, I, I need to know exactly what her past was. Because when he calls her, she's like, you already know, you don't have to ask my permission. If you need to do something, handle it. I was like, damn. Mrs. Barton is a ride or die. Like, she didn't give two flying fucks exactly who Clint had to go and kill. It's like, yep, if you need to go and kill someone, get out there and do it. Go out there and handle it. And I'm like, okay, go out there and handle it. So he suits back up as Hawkeye and he's out there. And we finally get to see him operate as Ronin, which is weird because when you see him operate as Hawkeye, it's just a lot of bow and arrow. Just bow and arrow action back and forth everywhere. But when he turns into Ronin, it's like he becomes Batman. He drops in behind the sniper, knocks him out. He's sneaking around, snatching people uh, by the leg, dragging them underneath cars and knocking them out. And it's so weird because we literally spent the last four episodes of Clint getting his ass kicked. Finally, he gets into the fight with Echo and she can give as good as she takes. Because for a moment there, she was handing him his ass and he gets the upper hand and he reveals himself and at first i thought he was going to kill her but then not only did he reveal himself to essentially lay down the threat which is if you keep coming after me and you bring any of this heat towards my family i will fucking kill you but then he reveals the fact that he was only there on an anonymous tip that anonymous tip being supposedly from the person that echo works for we're going to talk about that person in a bit now, another thing that I found super interesting is the discussion between the both of them, which is she calls him a monster. He's like, mm, no, like he signs it to her. No, he's like, no, we're 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 weapons. You and me. Basically, we exist for other people to point and direct and whatever happens when we run through whoever our target is, we have to live with that. And, you know, it something that you and me have to deal with and she kind of i don't know if she kind of agrees with it but she understands where he's coming from because then she starts questioning the tracksuit mafia and the person that she works for when that guy shows up which is interesting to see echo go off on her own path this soon now <laughs> i love the fact that first off kate saves clint and when she saves clint He's like, all right, all right, all right. So like, we got like a plan. There's like an escape, like hatch, something going on over here. And she's like, yeah, absolutely. And they walk down an alleyway and then Uber pulls up and he just looks at her like word. And that's such a Kate Bishop thing to do, which is like, you think she's gonna show up with a van or a car to get you out of there so that you can get back to the safe house. Now nah, it's just an Uber or a Lyft, you know, $20, get you across the city. That's pretty much it. But the reveal at the end, Finally, finally, Vincent D'Onofrio is back in the MCU. Uh, we finally get the reveal that Kingpin is the person working with Elena Bishop. Now, we all knew that this was gonna be the case once we saw the 
flashback scene where he uh, comes in and he pinches her cheek when she's a kid. But it's a blurry photo, but we all know who's in that photo because he's wearing that fresh white kingpin suit. And it's so nice to see like that alone, that picture alone hyped the shit out of me. Because, yes, yes. Like bring him back, bring back Daredevil and then bring back Punisher as well. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where exactly it goes from here because now Kate essentially has to team up with Hawkeye to take down her mother and echoes on this other path where she's essentially going to be trying to take down Kingpin. So I have to wait a whole week. What's with me and waiting? What's with me and waiting recently? It's just, I'm waiting for so much. Oh, Spider-Man is in one day. Thank you. Thank you. The longer I'll wait at least for Spider-Man. But yeah, love this episode. This episode was absolutely fantastic. If you watched it, because this, this video is probably going to be up maybe like 11 in the morning, uh, probably somewhere close to noon. But if you watched, no, this video is definitely going to be up a lot sooner than that. If you watched the most recent episode of Hawkeye, let me know. Comment down below. If you are new to the channel, thank you. Welcome to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what your favorite part of this episode was. And I will catch you in the next one.